Today we're going to learn how to solve logarithmic equations. Um, the rules are fairly simple. Um, first, you must isolate the log terms to one side of the equation, combining log, term, uh, like term, log terms if needed. Write the equation in exponential form, or raise the base to each side of the equation, and solve for the variable. So let's see what we're talking about here. So here's a, a, a set of problems. Solve for x in each given equation. So following these steps, let's do A. And A says uh, the log base uh, log of x equals 3 means uh, it's a base 10, as you should know. It's the common logarithm. And the log of x equals 3 becomes 10 to the third equals x. That's the meaning of the log function. Well, once we have that, we simply could simply compute 10 to the power of 3 and we have our answer 1,000. So it's very simple. Um, basically, we're going to have our log expression, write the equation exponential form, and then solve for the variable, as we said. So let's try a second one. Second one says log base 2 of x equals 5. According to our definition of logs, that means uh, the base 2 raised to the power of 5 is equal to x. So we see that over here. 2 to the 5th equals x. And so now all we have to do is compute 2 to the 5th, which most of us know are 32. And there's our answer. Let's try the next one. And our next one it says uh, the uh, log of x equals 5. Most of you know that this uh, when you have ln, it's base e. So it's really log base e of x equals 5. Put a little e there if you could see it. Didn't come out too well. And that, by definition, e to the fifth, so it's this base raised to that power, is equal to x. And there you have it. e to the fifth equals x. And then on your calculator, you could compute uh, the fifth power of e. And we have our answer, 148.4. Okay, so now here we have our second set of problems. It's basically the same, but just a little bit more complicated. So let's look at our first one, which is uh, 5 the log of 2x equals 16. So let's look at that. All of these, we need to change them into exponential form, but we first we need to get everything that's not part of the log out of the way. So you'll notice that we have 5 the log of 2x equals 16. What we're going to want to do here is divide by 5, both sides. And once you do that, as you can see, you get the log of 2x equals 16 fifths. And now using our, what we learned about the definition of logs, this should mean that 10, the base 10, raised to the 16 fifths power is equal to 2x. So we just move down a little bit, and there we have it, 10 to the 65th power equal 2x. And naturally, you must should realize you need to divide both sides by 2. And then we put into our calculator. So 10 to the 16 fifths is the same as 10 to the 3.2 power. We divide by 2, and that gives us 10 to the 3.2 power divided by 2 is equal to x because as you notice when you divide it by 2 the 2's canceled out. I switched colors on you. All right? And so we get 10 to the 3.2 power over 2 equals x. Well that you simply put into your calculator and we get our answer of 792.45. So just let's review that before we do the next one. If you have a problem like this, you want to get the log to one side and all the other terms to the other side, and then we could do it the way we learned previously. So let's do question B, and uh, we, first we have to subtract 9 from both sides. So we subtract 9 from this side and 9 from this side, because remember, our goal is to get the log expression alone. So if we do that, we get negative 3, the log base 4 of 2x equals negative 6. And since you still want to get log uh, base 4 alone, 
notice that we're going to have to divide by negative 3 to both sides. And if you do that, neg put negative 3 here and negative 3 here. And if you do that, you'll notice that you get log base 4 of 2x is equal to 2 because negative 6 divided by negative 3 is 2. And these 3's here have canceled out. And now, by definition of our exponential function, this should be the same as uh, 4 squared equals 2x. Once again, remember we have a base of 4 raised to uh, the second power is equal to 2x. And we certainly know that 4 squared is 16. And if we divide both sides by 2, we'll get x is equal to 8. And there's our answer. Okay, question C was 4 log of x equals 3. Then this is the natural log, but it still works the same way. First, you want to divide both sides by 4 to get the natural log by itself. And when we do that, notice the 4s cancel, and we get the natural log of x is equal to 3 fourths. And according to our definition of logs, since this is a base e, it should mean that e to the 3 fourths power is equal to x, and that's what we have this right here. So e raised to that number, 3 fourths, is equal to x. And now we just put this in our calculator. We calculate the answer. And there it is. x is equal to 2.12. So just to, as a summary, remember, in order to solve these logarithmic equations, we need to isolate the log terms to one side of the equation, combining log terms if, if needed. Then we write the equation in exponential form or raise the base to each side of the equation, which we didn't do in this case. We just wrote it in exponential form. And then finally, we solve for the variable. So it's for three very simple steps, and all the problems that we just did were done the same way. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time.